So this is kind of a video practice worksheet on finding the number of neutrons, protons, electrons, the mass number, atomic number, and element symbol when you're given an atom. So watch how I do this. This is the key information right here that we need to know. So we have chlorine right here. So the symbol that's Cl. This here, this whole number on top, that is the atomic number, which is 17. And the atomic number, that's the number of protons. Kind of nice, right? Number of protons, that's 17. For a neutral atom, so if you have a neutral atom like chlorine, Cl minus, that would be an ion, or Na plus, that would be a positive ion. These have a charge, so they're ions. We're not dealing with a neutral element. But when you get an element right from the periodic table, nothing after it, it's neutral. For neutral elements, protons equal electrons, 17 electrons. Then the mass number, that's just protons plus neutrons. 17 plus 18 is 35. And we could call this the isotope chlorine-35. Okay, so let me clear this and you give it a try. We'll stick with chlorine here, but now you've got 20 neutrons. So pause, complete this table here. Still chlorine, atomic number, doesn't matter how many neutrons it has, 17, the atomic number, that's gonna be chlorine. Atomic number equals the protons. We have 17 of those. This is neutral, so electrons and protons are the same. The mass number, add these up. Protons plus neutrons, 17 here plus 20 is 37. And this is the isotope chlorine 37. Still chlorine, but it's an isotope because of the different number of neutrons. Let's try another one. Let's work with hydrogen here. And I'm only giving you the mass number of two. So find those neutrons, protons, electrons, atomic number, and the symbol. Pause, give it a try. So we said we're dealing with hydrogen here. So that's H, that's our element symbol. Atomic number tells us we have one, that's the atomic number, one proton, and we know since this is neutral, we'll have one electron. But what about the neutrons? So we said the mass number is two, we have one proton, so something plus one equals two. One plus one equals two. So this isotope here of hydrogen has just one neutron. We could write it as H dash two. Hydrogen two, that's the mass number. It has a special name, it's called deuterium. All right, let's do another one with a few more neutrons. So for silver here, we have 60 neutrons. Fill the table out. So we have silver, AG, atomic number is 47. So we have 47 protons. And since it's a neutral atom here, we'd have 47 electrons. Add these two numbers together, 60 plus 47, that gives us 107 as our mass number. And that's it for silver. But what do you do if you have one of those ions where you have a positive or negative charge? Let's try one of those. So first, let's do neutral magnesium right here from the periodic table. Pause, fill that in. So we have the isotope magnesium 26 here. But when magnesium forms chemical bonds, it'll lose two electrons. It'll become Mg2+. So let's change this information here for Mg2+. What happens? Pause, think about it. So if it's Mg, the atomic number is always 12, it always has 12 protons. And in this case, we have 14 neutrons, so we're gonna have 12 plus 14, we'll have 26. This ionic charge here, the only thing that changes is the number of electrons. So plus two, we've lost two. So if you think about it, we have a two plus. We've lost two negative charges, that's why we became positive. So let's get rid of two electrons there and we end up with just 10 electrons. So with ions, the only difference, that's the number of electrons. Everything else, we do the same. All right, pause and fill this in for the nitride ion and notice that three minus ionic charge. So this one was kind of tricky. I didn't give you the neutrons. What you can do if you're not given the number of neutrons, you don't know the neutrons or the mass number, 
you can often just round this number here and that'll give you a good idea of the mass number. So I'm going to put 14 here. So sometimes teachers will do that and you just need to round the average atomic mass to a whole number here. Now if I have 7 neutrons plus 7 protons, that would give me the mass number of 14. But remember, we're doing the ion. 3 minus, that means 3 extra electrons. So we have 7, we add 3, and we end up with 10 electrons. And that's a really pretty zero I just drew. So that's really it. If you know this information here, you can pretty easily find the atomic number, mass number, number of electrons, protons, and neutrons. Just remember, if you have ions here, you're going to have to add if it's negative or subtract electrons if it's positive. And if you're not given neutrons or mass number, you may need to go to the periodic table, get that average atomic number, and round that to a whole number. That's it. This is Dr. V looking at how to find the atomic number, mass number, number of electrons, number of protons, and number of neutrons. Thanks for watching.